who would have known that, you know, joining the track and field team in Kennedy in my freshman year, just because my friends were doing it, would turn into this. Thea LaFont is just days away from competing in the triple jump in the Olympics. While LaFont was born on the small island of Dominica, she moved to the DMV when she was five years old and calls Montgomery County home. When she's not training for the Olympics, this 27-year-old is teaching special education at John F. Kennedy High School, the same high school she graduated from. So I only taught for the first semester and I asked uh, for permission from Montgomery County Public Schools if I could do an extended leave to focus on the Olympics and uh, shout out to them for okaying that. LaFon says while she wants to make her friends and family proud, she's not feeling a lot of pressure. She's just grateful for the opportunity. Right now, I'm just kind of excited to have the world together in some sort of way after the crazy, you know, few months we've had. The COVID-19 pandemic is still a huge concern in Tokyo, Japan, and LaFon admits she had some reservations about competing in these Olympic Games. I was quite apprehensive about it. Uh, COVID took two of my loved ones away from me in a span of two weeks. But I did know that the staff here hosting the, the Tokyo Olympic Games were doing everything in their possible power to make sure it was safe. LaFall has been chosen to hold her country's flag during the opening ceremony Friday. It's, it's just such an honor to, to be able to represent, you know, this, this little gem in the Caribbean, as I call it, um, Dominica, and, you know, just show the world and represent for the world what we can do. And I, this is going to be, you know, a, a memory of a lifetime, and I can't wait to make it. For WUSA 9 Sports, I'm Charlotte McBride.